Hey, hi, how are y'all? It's five something on a Thursday and it's 82, 83 degrees outside in sunny Atlanta, Georgia. And it's on and popping, baby. What up, though? <laughs> hi, how are you? Oh, love you so much. Miss you so much. Can't wait to be with you so very much. Listen, listen, Linda. I'm going to tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Oil can. Tim Man said, oil can. Dorothy said, oil can. He said, oil can. Oil can what? <laughs> Clueless Dorothy. And Tin Man, who was not clueless, said, oil can. I'm the Tin Man. And I'm saying, oil can. <laughs> Come on now. I love you so much. I can't, I, I, I can't not say nothing. But I got to say this, though. First off, congratulations on your one million views of your podcast. Remember, Dr. Jamal Harrison Bryant. Hello. What do you say? Six, six episodes in? <laughs> you have got the thing on lock, right? So here's the thing. And, you know, YouTube's coming after you now, right? And so, what that can tell you, which you either know or don't know, and how that thing works, is because they want to bring your million viewers to them. <laughs> it's good, but they want to bring your your million people plus whoever more is going to come on. That was only in six weeks with hardly any big push on it. They want to bring your million something viewers to their platform. And who gets the increase and the benefit out of that? I'll give you a minute. Who gets the benefit and increase of your viewers coming to their platform? You already know the answer. Tell them what he's won. Well, when that happens, then the plat that platform, the YouTube YouTube people get the get the get the increase because. You know, that's what it is. That's why they invite people. And, I mean, it's no small feat to be invited. So, bravo to you for that and for what God allows, right? And, but what I, well, all I want to say, and like I said on that three-hour video the other day, is that everything is, is set up for you up here in, in this uh, space. This God-breathed thing set up in this space for you, waiting for you and your... Uh, you and whatever God has you to do to run your platform here that, that, that he had me set up. So, you know, I teach all these amazing students. I teach public speaking, but I, uh, they get their degrees in, in entertainment business or digital film or in audio engineering. They're either artists, they are um, filmmakers, directors, they're entertainment business um, people running their own labels or running their own management businesses, um, any number of things that they're doing in the entertainment industry. And they're so smart, they're so talented, and every time I post them, I always say that, you know, I love my students. My students are, you know, the future of the industry, right? And I also say, because people always say, oh, you're an influencer, no. Let me say it again. No. I'm going to close my sunroof and say this. So you can hear me. Sunroof closing. Um, people say, oh, so-and-so is an influencer. Yeah, they could be an influencer. That's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with being an influencer. But guess what? You don't want to be an influencer. You want to be the influence. Say that again. Jamal Bryant, you're not an influencer. You are the influence. I'll say it for the third time. Dr. Bryant, I'll say it real nice this time. Dr. Bryant. Oh my gosh, Becky. Look at her. <laughs> Back of her car. Look at Look at what's going on with the video. I've been talking and chitting and chatting. I don't even know if it was recording. So we're back at it again. 
Um, or, uh, hey, hi, how are ya? I don't know if the first video recorded it at all, so I'm just starting over. Hey, hi, how are ya? Hey, hi, how are ya? Love you, God bless you. And welcome to How We Flow. Dot Today TV with me, Stephanie Stallworth, your ATL Traffic Lady, founder and CEO of the Flow Streaming Service, also founder of the community, the How We Flow. Dot Today community, which you are indeed a part of if you're watching this video. Listen, Linda, listen, Linda. I'm going to say, da da da, congratulations to the one, the only, Reverend Dr. Jamal Harrison Bryant on his 1 million podcast views in only six episodes, six weeks of the podcast. Come on now. Whoop, 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 whoop. God is good, honey. And, you know, we're just scratching the surface. I always say we're just scratching the surface. Honey. And, and yes, what an amazing thing. I, take, I can take nothing from that. No one can take anything from that. It's just nothing short of phenomenal, right? It's a beautiful, wonderful thing. It's a beautiful, wonderful thing, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I'm excited for you. I'm excited about it, but I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pull the band-aid off. <laughs> I gotta, whew, I gotta put some peroxide on that thing. Because, <clears throat> let me clean this thing up. Yes, indeed. YouTube has given you the invitation, and please take it if you want to, but um, they've invited you and your million views, and it's going to be more than a million, two million in another week, four million in another month, six million in three to four months, right? So all your millions of viewers to their platform, so they can take more vacations and, 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 and have private yachts and and all of those things, the YouTube founders, right? So that's all well and good if that's the only thing that you that you have. I just want to remind you how God set you up with a whole platform three years ago that you haven't been able to utilize yet. Because maybe you didn't realize it. But again, go back and watch that three hours of video that I made yesterday, yesterday, Monday, with prophecy and all of that about your platform that's not your platform that's a platform youtube is a platform it's not your platform your platform has been sitting there ready for uh since 2021 so it's three years in and it's just waiting for you right all you have to do is step in so if in launching your podcast you now are reminded of the impact that you you have and positioning that you're in Keep that in the forefront of your mind. Why, Stephanie? Why do I have to do that? Because, and I always say this to, to and about my students. I teach college course on public speaking, a couple colleges, but what I'm teaching that right now, students earn their degree in digital film, they earn their degree or they earn their degree in audio engineering, or they earn their degree in entertainment business. So they are in the entertainment business. They're either uh, entertainment business, as in they run their own record labels or their own uh, production companies. Uh, they're in audio engineering degree students who are, uh, you know, music producers. Um, they own their own labels, or they're getting their digital film degree, and they're directors, screenwriters running a film studio, uh, entertainment business, they're managing artists or uh, managing any number of things in the entertainment business field, right? And I love my students. I say, oh, Miss Star Wars students are the best. I always post about them. You see them on my Instagram. Right? Miss <laughs> Star Wars students are the best. I'm always so proud of them because they came there against all odds and did the doggone thing. They might not have any support at home for what they're doing. I don't know why you're going to school for that. There's no future in that. Go get a good government job. Go do this. Go do that. But they stepped into what their purpose is and they're doing it anyway. Support or no support. They got nobody cheering them on. I'm cheering them on. I'm like every one of y'all in, in the room. You came here against some, some odds. Some, someone pushing back against you to tell you, don't do that. Why are you doing that? You're not going to be successful in that. 
that's not going to, you know, you know, all of those naysayers. And you, you all know about these naysayers. No matter what it is, whether it's these students or you and your life and, and your personal life, your professional life, people want to control you and tell you what to do. We always talk about this. You have it all up today. Community. But these students, I say, yeah, Miss Solar students are the best and they're out there and they're doing their thing and they come there and they're amongst a, uh, a group of people that are just like them who love what they love and the way that they love it that other people outside of that sphere cannot understand, which is why they don't support them. Much the same as Dr. Bryan, there are some people outside of the sphere of what you're uh, about to embark on in your, in your life that they're not a part of and they cannot understand it. So they're telling you, don't do this. Why are you doing that? I don't understand. And they're pushing back. But I made a video this morning. Stand and take your place and don't back down. Show up in that space where you find your other people that are just like you, who understand you and why you do what you do, right? And, and you find your people there. You find a unique space and place in there that is, you feel so at home there. These students, they, oh, you should just see them. They come in there, they're, they're new creatures. They're at peace. They know people got their back. They know people understand what they understand, the way they understand it. They love music like they love it. They love film like they love it. They talk, they speak their language. It's all that they found their people and all of that, right? So if you think about that in your life, your people are not necessarily the people that have been around you forever. Your people are the people that make you feel like that. They make you feel at peace. They make you feel like they understand you. They're speaking your language. When they're, when they're saying something, your heart sings. You perk up. Your, your uh, worries go away. Because you're like, wow, I'm in, I'm in the right sphere. I'm in the right place. This is it. These people get me, I get them. This person gets me, I get them. And so, that's why I love teaching at that school. Because those students, I mean, every school is good. You know, there's regular undergrad for undergrad, regular stuff. That's good too. That's your purpose. That's your sphere. That's what you do. These students, they're going all the way against the odds because I don't know why I'm getting a degree in this, but they're getting a degree in this because that's what they're called to do. And so I say that Miss Stalworth students are the best. I always love my students, and I'm their biggest fan. I always tell tell them, say, hey, you guys, know I'm your biggest fan. If I can do anything to help you, I'm always going to help you, and I've helped a lot of them. And so. And they've helped me. I learned a lot from these students, you know? But to get back to my point, I love my students. My students are the best. And I always, often, I also often or always say when I'm talking about them, I put them on IG or wherever, I'll just tell them to their face that y'all are so smart. You're so talented. You're walking in your calling and your purpose. You're doing what you were created to do. No matter what naysayers have to say, right? But you are doing what you were created to do so you know that you're in the right place and you know that you're going to do well. So people always say, oh, oh, you know, I want to be an influencer or so-and-so is an influencer. And I say that my students are not influencers. I say they're the future of the industry, but they're not influencers. They are the influence. They're not influencers. They are the influence. Say it again. They're not influencers. They are the influence. They're the ones that are leading, leading the pack, leading the trend. They're not influencers among, amongst a bunch of influencers. There's nothing wrong with being an influencer, but that's not what they are. They're the influence. I'm saying the same thing to you, Dr. Bryant. And that really great invitation to the YouTube platform because it shows that you know they want they want you to think you're an influencer but I want to remind you that you're not an influencer you're the influence what do you mean by that Stephanie? you're the influence if in six weeks of six episodes of a podcast and you got to your million views and like I said it's exponentially going to explode so next week you'll be at 2 million if you're on YouTube starting tomorrow. And then you'll be at, you know, 5 million in another three, four weeks and then so on, right? And they'll say, yes, influencer brought his podcast to 
we invited him to our YouTube, and I, you may get ad dollars, or I don't know, I don't know how that works, that part works, but that's good. But who's getting, not just about getting things, but who is getting more out of your influence, you or them, in this one? I think it's it's the YouTube owners who are going out to buy another private yacht, or <laughs> I don't know what they do, or you know, send their kids off to uh, whatever schools they want to or continue to build their uh, generational wealth they're the ones building all of that on their platform now I say all that to say it is an amazing feat which you which, which you've been God's been able to let you do and you've been able to do because you're the influence right you're not an influencer you are the influence and the influence is the one that decides how things go you're the influence. So, when you're looking at your platforms, jamalbryant.org, that's your platform. Now, you've been, with all the success there, been invited to a huge platform, YouTube. And you'll get some wins out of that, and they'll get some wins out of that. They, probably, they might get more wins than you. And you're one of many influencers as they look at them on their platform and I asked you to please play every minute of the three plus hour video from Monday I know it's long let it just play in the background every word is a word for you that you have to, to hear and understand you may have already listened to it go back and listen to it again because when uh, Prophetess Bentley spoke that prophecy over you Seven, eight minutes of prophecy over you. Seven to eight minutes. It's everything I've been speaking over uh, you the last seven to eight months on these videos. And it was just confirmation, confirmation. The name of the video is Two Words Spoken, because you spoke, you did two, two sermons Sunday. Two words received, we received your sermons. And then uh, prophecies confirmed. And that seven to eight minutes, she confirmed everything I've been saying about saying about what's up for you for the seven, last seven to eight months uh, since July or August, right? So, in the prophecy, she talks about so many things. I don't even have my notes here. I did take notes because you should take notes. I mentioned please take notes over everything she said in the seven to eight minutes and break it down and ask God to tell you exactly what it all is. And she mentioned the platform. But I don't want you to be lulled into thinking that that's the platform. That's not the platform. That is a platform. It's a valuable, huge, big platform. And, and who's the big value go to? The platform. <laughs> the, the value of that platform goes to the platform and their generational wealth and their kids, 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 right? They're going to give you a little piece to keep you coming, but that ain't... That's not where, you know, you'll get your best value for the influence that God gave you, right? So, she said there's a platform... I've been telling you about the platform. I've offered uh, this platform that God told me to build that only he could have built this way. And the thing that he said that that only only Jamal Bryant can do. So you got a little sample of what only Jamal Bryant can do in the last six weeks on your podcast. But And it, and it makes people come and invite you to other stuff. And that's good. However, you have a whole platform of your own that's already just waiting for your, your entry. And, and because you're not an influencer, you are the influence, all you have to do is step in there and, 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 and be there. And the same response that you get on all the other things that you're doing, whether it's your website, your church websites or church YouTubes, or all of YouTube inviting you or any other platform inviting you, any other streaming service inviting you. You have your own streaming service and you don't even know about it, but you do. It's out there because God told me to build that thing. And and I built it and, and it's just waiting for you to show up. But um, your, your prophet talked about a, a platform and the purple and it's all sitting there. So it's on autopilot. It's been running and it, it just is waiting for Jamal Bryant to show up where God said he could be. But I don't want you to be fooled into thinking that's your platform that she was talking about. YouTube is not your platform. YouTube is YouTube's platform. You have a platform that's waiting for you 
because right now it's called the flow but uh, praise god productions right praise god network but you have your own platform where not only will it benefit all of the many people that are in your in your influence it'll benefit you and your family and your generations to come too it'll benefit everyone that uh, you have on the platform I don't mean, just mean your podcast it'll be another part of her prophecy where she spoke of independent pa you helping independent pastors independent of new birth this has nothing to do with new birth this is you your platform and independent pastors who have something to say who have a great ministry in them but they're small and then when they show up on your platform they get exposure, access, and proximity to so many other viewers, right? And that blesses not only them and their ministry and their families, but everyone connected to their ministries. It's what I talk about and how we flow today and so on and so on and so on. And if you're here to make an impact, and I believe you're here to make an impact, not just on your, only on your own life or your family's life, but on the lives of all God's people. And then people who aren't even God's people, we want to reach them too, right? Then step into your platform that's, that's been sitting there. It's on auto. It's been on autopilot. I've been paying for it for. <laughs> I've been paying for it to stay on autopilot forever. It's waiting to be populated. And then you don't share your ad dollars with with the big platform because you are the big platform. So I need you to understand. I always I always say. Do you even know who you are? You're a big deal, <laughs> right? And and I, I guess you know, but now you're quantified it in knowing. They quantified it with with the million viewers in, in six episodes, six weeks, right? And that's just like you said, scratching the surface. We've only just begun. So where do you want to take your influence? To the owners of YouTube, or to your own platform, your own streaming? Think of all of the, I call it content, but all of the things that you could have producing on there. There's room for it all. I, already, I really already have it all. But, uh, you know, it's like it could be any number of different things. So, it could be all kinds of things. It could be all kinds of things for all kinds of people. It's kind of what it already is. But I'm just saying, everything is ready for you. It's turnkey. It's ready to just say, okay, let's start that today. And it starts today and then you take your influence to your own platform not to other people's platform I mean that's how the whole thing works right for other people's platform um, they want what influence you have to bring it to their place because it you know I guess it's really all business right all of that is business and so they're gonna find the ones with the most influence, they're going to call you an influencer. They're not going to let you know you're really the influence. They're going to think you're satisfied to be called an influencer. No. You're not an influencer. You're the influence. Okay? <laughs> so you need to have your influence on your, or your platform that's sitting there waiting for you right now. So, yeah, go to YouTube. Take their ad dollars, all that stuff, whatever that is. But then at the same time, populate this platform to sit there. God set, set up there for you. It's just where it's ready to go. It's waiting to go. And, you know, I'm just asking you to take a look at the fact that um, their job is to, the fire truck's coming, ambulance coming, their job is to make you feel good by calling you a huge influencer. Yeah, you're an influencer. And people are influencers. They're not all being an influencer. I am not minimizing being an influencer. Some people are created to be consumers of the content some people are created to be influencers of content and some people are created to be the influence and you my darling you're the influence not to be confused with an influencer not to be confused with a content creator or to be confused with a content um, consumer so take the influence God gave you to this platform God gave you 
and it's all the way up. That's all. So, but you know, we already knew you were going to be great on the podcast, but that's just only even scratching the surface of one level of what influence you are, what the influence is that you, that you are. That's one part of your influence is the podcast. There's so much else, right? What's all the things you ever hoped, dreamed, and thought of? You've been doing this thing for a long time. You've done tons of TV and, and radio. You've done tons of everything. You're an author. You're all these things, right? So your platform has uh, shopping. Your platform has live streaming. It has on-demand. It has video on-demand. It has audio on-demand. It has uh, live stream channels. It, and and it's, it's set up for exponential growth. So I'm at, a, I'm at one level with it now, operating it. But it could double up or it could be uh, scaled to um, your own specifications to handle your million in six weeks, let alone, you know, six million or eight million or ten million in the next however many uh, weeks and or months and leveling up from there. And it's not only just about you. It's about impacting others, other people, other ministries, other believers other non any other non-believers it's about the whole impact and changing the entire landscape of Christian ministry through your own streaming service called the flow all right many dollars went into the setup of it this is done by the best people out there uh, ain't nothing slight or slack or half half stepping about the apps themselves so you know they can stream to YouTube. <laughs> your, your platform can stream to YouTube, but your platform streams on Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV. Your platform streams on iOS app. It has an Android app. It has a web app. Uh, it's streaming to video Apple Podcasts, audio Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. It can do tune in. It can do uh, stream to all of the Twitches and, and the Twitters, and it can stream to um, everything else out there. So many other. Everything that there's out there to stream to, it can stream to. And so, and I don't mean just a podcast, I'm on all types of programming, all types of everything. So just remember, God's crafted and curated what it is that he has for you. Your prophet said that he has you positioned right where he wants you. And everything is already set up. And there's so much out there for you, right? And I, you know, I, I, I patty whack around it, and I don't really say it, but today I'm going to really say it. That platform's sitting there waiting for you, sir. And all you got to do is say, all right, and, uh, you know, your stuff starts starts uh, streaming there. They can watch you on, on their, you an Apple person, they can watch you on their Apple TV. They can watch you on their Fire Stick, even if they hijack the Fire Stick. <laughs> they can watch you on their Fire Stick. They can watch you on, you know, every streaming TV out there. Because everybody's not on Facebook. You can stream to Facebook, too. Everybody's not on YouTube. You can stream to YouTube, too. Everybody's not on Twitter. You can stream to Twitter, too. Everybody's, you know, not on all these things. Some people are only on Facebook. And some people aren't even on Facebook or YouTube. But their ministries have something to say, also. So in knowing that, and knowing how, as she said, Jamal Bryant Ministries, your, your prophet said Jamal Bryant Ministries, is the, is the over head of that whole thing with a bunch of smaller pieces under it. This is all these other ministries. Just, I'm not talking about New Birth. Of course, New Birth would be on there today if you're on there, but I'm talking about all these other ministries that need the influence that you have to help their ministries grow. It doesn't take nothing away from you. No one can take anything away from you, even though they try. What God has for you is for you, and nobody can take it away. But knowing what God has for you is for you, don't leave what God has for you sitting over on the side or on the table or wherever, in the back closet. Put what God has for you out on front street because it's created uniquely for you. Ain't no other way it could have happened. So, 
bravo indeed but please go back and watch that video let it play in the background <clears throat> i'm saying early when i thought the thing was recording i this video was recording it didn't record so i started over but i didn't even watch the whole three hours of it <laughs> myself i watched most of the beginning i think i watched the first hour and then i watched the end it was in the end where you know i started to talk about things i think i mentioned this in the video this morning talk about some things at the end that really i almost was i was almost crying i had to snap i had to snap away from it so i didn't start crying but you know it's some very uh stuff i wanted to, didn't think i was going to talk about about my mom and what was happening there at that time and not trying to make the connection and there was no clarity with trying to communicate through people and stuff and so there was just a lot there's just a lot that was missed out on but aside from that there's so much in the video that every word is a word that you have to hear and if you already heard it please go back and hear it again because you're going to hear something new and that's it i mean i hope you're gonna step into it and see what the end's gonna be because it's gonna be big all right you're the influence don't let these people make you think that you're an influencer right are you the piece on the game board or are you the game which one are you right I need to put that that uh, that photo up are you the piece or the game are you the influencer or are you the influence and you my darling you're the influence and don't ever forget it and I don't mean in a haughty way in a humble way only God could do this and God did do it and I don't want him to be godly disappointed the only way God could be disappointed and I laid it all out here for you you know how he lays stuff out for us and we just be looking at it like yeah but I ain't gonna be able to do that or nah I don't think that's for me or whatever I don't want to disappoint God I did all the parts I was supposed to do so I hope you're gonna do all the parts you're supposed to do too so that's why I'm telling you plain as day the haters hear it they just don't have to hear it but i'm telling you this plain as day since there's no uh straight communication uh modes modes into play right now and i have no other way to connect with you except this so i'm saying it as plain as day uh let's check this thing out and get this thing going i'm going to get on youtube get their youtube dollars they're gonna come anyway but that is not your generational wealth that is not your impact of generations to come. That is not your legacy. YouTube is not your legacy. It's a stop along the way. It was just a, a little uh, moment to remind you, to remind you of what you really got on you. Right? Their invitation is a reminder. It's a tap on the shoulder. Hey, hi, how are you? <laughs> That's what you got on you, sir. Come on now. And you know, you know entrepreneurship. That's one of your 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 ministry pushes is entrepreneurship. Even if you do amazingly well on YouTube, that's not entrepreneurship in the fullest sense, because you don't own the platform. They could decide, uh, eh, he done did something out there and I don't, we don't like what he said. Now he's he's trending in a bad way. So we're going to take his content down. We don't want, we're going, we're going to rescind our inv invitation. Because they control the platform, not you. Nobody's controlling their platform but them. People get their channels taken down all the time. I'm not saying you should get your channel taken down. But what I'm saying is, who is in charge? So I say, who, whose life is this? Whose platform is this? That's their platform. You got your own platform just sitting here. God, God had it built. It's sitting here waiting for you. And then you decide what's on there, what's not on there. You decide who's part of it, who's not part of it. You decide. It's not up to anybody else. Right? And, and the true win is when you walk into what God set up for you, you're impacting other people besides just yourself with the influence that God gave you. So when you're able to do that, everybody wins. Everybody wins. And I want to see you winning. You're already winning, but I want to see you. I want to see you in the fullness thereof. And, and that psalmist that you're 
4 o'clock service Sunday said, will your answer still be yes? Will your heart and soul say yes? And this is a continuation of that. So, bravo and kudos on the podcast. We knew it was going to be successful. God is good. He's going to set you up for no failures. But it's just a reminder now that the, now that the people are uh, coming to you. It's a reminder that you are the influence. So don't let people make you think that you should be thinking that, oh, wow, that's so great. And it is great, but like, like the influence God gave you didn't make that happen. Right? And if the influence God gave, gave you made you be the influence that you are, and then he gave you your own platform to, 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 to carry that influence to help other people, then you should be thinking about what must I do to be saved, right? What, what must I do to help these people? So, that's some food for thought while you're in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The next couple of days, I think you said you'll be there a couple of days, some conference or something. Anyway, that's it, darling. That's all. That's all she wrote. You are not an influencer. You are the influence. And it's, a, it's an amazing feat that people wish they had that could be invited by YouTube to be on their platform. But it's a more amazing feat to remember that God gave you your own platform. Whether you understood it or not, whether people told you about it or not, when they were supposed to tell you and they didn't tell you, or whether you chose to believe it or not. I don't care about any of that. All I'm telling you is, please, will your heart and soul say yes? What, what, you know, what are you going to tell God about that? What are you going to tell God about, about that? I gave you your own platform where you're the influence, and your influence is going to help other people to reach dreams that they don't even know that they're dreaming. You'll be the answer to ancestors' prayers that were never uttered, stuff they never thought they could ever find achievement in their bloodline this is the answer to that and so i won't believe the issue <clears throat> but i will say come on down you are the influencer on your own platform dun, 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 dun. you know getting on somebody else's platform is cool you can share their audience they share your audience but in the grand scheme of things, are you truly winning when you're at the behest of other people's wins? Oh, I don't like what he said about so and so. Now nah, we going we we ain't gonna support him as an invita invitee anymore. Nope, he's no longer invited <laughs> to the cookout. <laughs> Who made the potato salad? So listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. Uh, I said it as plain as I could say it. If you don't respond to that, I don't know what else to do, baby. I don't know what else to do. But uh, I'm hoping to hear from you here. Because remember who you are and whose you are. And he's the only one that could have done all the things he's doing. Your asterisk is, is being erased even as we speak. And then it's leveling all the way up. You're clearing the decks. All the toxic... All the spelly, all the Lucy, all the, all the distractions, everything keeping you from your destiny is being removed or has been removed. And you're officially walking in your blessing. So please, don't walk by any parts of your blessing that God laid out for you carefully. He's been waiting for you patiently. That thing, that, that, that platform of yours been rolling for it'd be is it March? Yeah, March. Three years this month. It was March 2021. It's been sitting there. And I think you see who you are now. And I think you're ready for all that God has for you now. And hey, I'm waiting to hear from you. All right, darling. God bless you so much. Love everybody. Love hugs and pats and all of that. Uh, heart eyes all those things uh, and I'm praying for you 
you pray for me and uh let's run on and see what the end is gonna be this was crafted and curated it's not just by happenstance ain't no coincidence i need you to look right at these things and say wow this was god god orchestrated god ordained and the things that are not say wow those are not god orchestrated and not god ordained and you know the difference in the feeling between one to the other i think you now know All right so even if you're used to the the not god ordained and not god orchestrated feeling come up out of that go beyond the feel and go to what you know to your inner knowing it's hard to trust it at first especially when the naysayers are naysaying howsomever you can't lose when God had it set up for you the first time. I trust him. Do you trust him? Do you trust him? <laughs> I trust him. I trust him so much that I know that you're going to reach out to me. Happy fifth anniversary, by the way. Fifth official uh, appointment pastoral anniversary we're celebrating uh, this Sunday, I think. So, yay, bravo. Whoop, 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 whoop. You're five years into that. Two years after you're into it, he gave you this platform. And now, in five years, you're going to start using it. Because now you remember who you are. Or maybe you know for the first time who you really are. Because so many people in, in our lives are trying to tell us a lie about ourselves. But I always want to tell people the truth about themselves. And how amazing you, you've been created to be. And walk in the fullness thereof, baby. Walk in the fullness thereof. It's all for you. It's all there for you. Got your very own name right on it. So, I will see you. I will hear from you. And you will do what thus saith the Lord, I guess, right? Alrighty then. So, listen, we're about 37 or so minutes in. I'm about to wrap this up. I'm done teaching for the day. We'll do, do some other stuff on a Thursday, and it's 80 degrees. That's our temperature went down three degrees in the last since I've been talking. So I guess we reached a high of uh, low to mid 80s today. It was 83 when I got in the car. Now it's at 80. But I like this kind of weather, baby. All I need is some crystal clear blue water to go with it. Hey! Oh, and I found out I got a whole bunch of uh, time off from school. <laughs> Usually they don't give you any. We won't get any time off in between terms until like the right before Labor Day. We got a whole couple of weeks off of school. Uh, the end of April. I can't wait. They want to go somewhere. I need to. I need to go somewhere. Who wants to go on a trip? I'm about to catch another flight. <laughs> I need to catch a flight. My passport needs a stamp. <laughs> Make you want to bite. I just want to have a good night. <laughs> I love it. All right, you guys. It's Stephanie Saw with Detail Traffic Lady, founder and CEO of the Flow Streaming Service. And of How We Float Out Today, the community. Join our community on Instagram at How We Float Out Today. How We Flow Period Today. It's self care, it's wellness, it's the art of well being. It's being your best self. And yes, Dr. Bryant, it's, it's living your dream life, the life you don't have to take a vacation from. And you're about to walk into your dream life. If you just say yes. Fox Soul, who gets the benefit of your audience there? Fox Soul. Your other, the other streaming thing that you're on, who gets the benefit of your audience there? They do. But I want you to get the benefit of your audience in your own platform. And this is it's just sitting there, sitting and spinning, waiting for you. It's waiting for you, darling. So I expect to hear from you in the next day or so. And, uh, you can roll out for your uh, Easter weekend festivities on your own platform. Except you could do it by Sunday. You could be on there by the night if you want. So find a number. I think I sent you a message from another number besides the ones that have a hard time getting through. So find that one. I think I sent you a text and a voicemail. And that other, another, another number. So find that and then let's get this party started, right? Y'all want this party started quickly. Right. Set it off. I suggest y'all. Come on, set it off. Set it off, baby.
turn this house into a home. Oh, your prophet said something about uh, property. And there's property is set aside. It's been set aside. A couple of properties set aside. 181 acres on one. Another one has a bunch of acreage as well. She said 10 to 12 minutes from the church, 12 to 15 minutes from the church. That's exactly right. So all the stuff I've been trying to tell you, talk to you about over the last five years, I'm just going to talk to you about it just straight up regular because I don't know how else to reach you about, about any of that, baby. So I'm just telling you what it is. So please go back and listen to the video. Write down everything she said in the prophecy and ask God to uh, double. Okay. Uh-oh. My size limit reached. New video started. I got to go. I'm out of time. I'm out of video space. Love you. God bless you. Mwah. See you guys soon. Hit me up. Shut you up. You are the influence, okay? You're not an influencer. You're the influence. You are the influence. So please go be that. Walk in, walk in that part of the calling that God gave you. Right? You're the influence. He says something only Jamal Bryant can do. Nobody else can do what this platform requires. Your platform requires. No one else can do it. He said this is for, this is for Jamal Bryant to do. So that's what it is. Everybody's like, oh, what did you want him to do? And everybody else hears it, but I don't know if you hear it. But that's what that's what it is, okay? That platform was created for you, and God said only you can do whatever is required for that. And I'm waiting for you to, to, to step up and say, all right, Steph, I'm ready. It's already, it already is, it's already, there's nothing to do except say yes, and then, you know, you get the, <laughs> you send the programming, and it's over. It's in. It's done. You can start in the next five minutes if you want. But, it's ready. There's no ramp up. There's no waiting. There's no anything else. It's all ready to go. All right. All righty. Uh, love you. God bless you. Ma. I'm getting hot sitting in this car. I gotta go. I need to recharge my AC. <laughs> all right. Love you. God bless you. Hugs, love, pats, kisses, all of that. We can't wait to see you. Can't wait to talk to you. No regrets. No looking back. Just moving ahead. We can't change the past. Let's just start right where we are, okay? We shall start right where we are. All right, you guys. My house will today, community. All right, my pastor, Reverend Dr. Jabal Harrison Bryant. All right, everyone else who's listening and in here. Um, in case he doesn't see it, y'all tell him. But don't tell him no jacked up version. I know how y'all do. You're messing up the messages. So he only hears what you think he should hear. So he don't hear what his real blessing is. That's what's messing the thing up all this time anyway. All you people up in here. Go on and sit down somewhere. <laughs> anyway, love you. God bless you. See you guys soon. Take care. Uh, yeah, it's Thursday. Let's talk by close of business Friday. Love you. God bless you. See you soon. And oh my, look at all these people driving the subdivision. What is wrong with them? I don't like maniacs. Anyway, that's because they heard they heard about your about your million views, Dr. Bryant. Ah, they're like, what must I do to watch the broadcast? <laughs> I, I don't I don't have a YouTube. I only have Roku. Oh, I can watch it on Roku now. Yes. All right. That's why they drive driving so excited. I can watch it on my Fire Stick. Oh yeah. I can watch it on Twitch. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so much i can say hey google play the oh yeah <laughs> alexa oh yeah all those capabilities are there honey so that's what it is all right love you god bless you Mwah. see you soon talk to you sooner and see you're not the influencer you are the influence now influence all right <laughs> I'm just with you. all right influence baby see ya